Today's holy gospel is according to St. Luke, the 17th chapter. Glory to you, O oh Lord. The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The Lord replied, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea. Then it will obey you. Who about you? Say to your slave who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, come here at once and take your place at the table. Would you not rather say to him, Prepare supper, put on your apron, and stay me while I eat and drink? Later you may eat and drink. Do you thank the slave for doing? what was commanded, so you also, when you have done all that you were ordered to do, say, we are worthless slaves. We have done only what we ought to have done. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated. When you hear today's uh, story or the parable that Jesus used to talk about, talk about faith, what do these words make you feel? Happy? Sad? Not feeling anything? It could be a no shame either. So, how does today's parable that Jesus used to talk about faith make you feel this morning. Actually, it made me feel uneasy. It's not a simple passage that you can take from the literal meaning, but at the same time, when you try to play with the words and the teeth of this passage will just go away. Jesus said this parable in order to achieve some goals. That goal is to wake the apostles up Especially when those apostles, they are the center members of Jesus' group. When they ask for a favor, which means some limited addition that only they served for the poor group. What's that? Well, they ask for faith. Do you have your definition of faith in front of you? What is a faith? Any answer for that question? There is no right or wrong. Just think about it. And what is a faith for you? Well, that is from Bible. Right? Yeah, you don't see, but you still believe. What else? Trust. We have a lot of words to describe faith. But when we come to faith, this term, especially when faith was used in the biblical setting, it's a gift from God. It's not from ourselves or the deep part of our heart. We have the faith. We just need to find it out. No, according to Jesus, faith is a gift. It's given from God to each and every one of us. What can faith do? Jesus said, if you have faith that as little as the mustard seed, <coughs> 
and you can command a big tree to be unrooted and to be planted in the sea. Is it possible? Well, according to our knowledge, no. But Jesus said, it is possible. And a lot of people actually in those days are following Jesus. They want faith. For them, faith is some kind of energy. When you have a lot of them, you can start to do things. Perform miracles, save people, or dangerous, or even raise people back to life from that. That's why his disciples are asking for this faith. Basically, they are asking for more power. They are asking for more authority. They are asking for something other people don't have, but me. A lot of times when we gather together to pray, when we gather together to do a ministry, we always ask God to give us strength, to give us guidance, to give us faith, to make that ministry successful. But do you have those experiences that no matter how much we put into one ministry, money, human resources, other materials. But it seems that ministry cannot or do not grow or even difficult to make. Sounds familiar? Why? A lot of church growing theory says because we don't have enough faith. But the problem is, when Jesus saw his disciples asking for faith, he knew from their heart, deep part of their heart, that those disciples are trying to distinguish themselves out of the regular world. And they want to have the power to run this world. Jesus, many times, was crowded by the regular people and trying to crown him a king. But Jesus refused each time. Even he is the king of kings. Why? Because when you are asking about faith and when you want the faith to work in this world, to make your organization, make yourself, make your group, make familiar with safe, similar people who have the power. I still remember when I was in seminary and one time, a New Testament professor asked me, have you ever saw one time, one verse, that Jesus used his power to fulfill his own need? Do you have ever remember any verse that says Jesus is using his power, performing a miracle for his own need? Isn't that interesting? A lot of times we ask for faith, for strength, for anything to make this church prosper, to make our denomination prosper, to make the church prosper. But Jesus asked all of us, why do we need faith for? 
It's all because you guys are following me as apostles, as disciples, as regular followers. Follow me to go through the road to Calvary, to carry your cross, to face the challenge of your own life and of this world. To do something that something can benefit not us, but the people we encounter on this world. Pray, have faith that God will use all of us to do wonderful things. St. Peter's Lutheran Church has been here in the center of Cuomo of Preston for how many years? 188. 188. 188. We have a lot of legacies here. What are we going to do to make new stories, to make new memories that people can remember us 188 years later. Here's a question. Maybe we don't need a quick answer for this. But you and me, the new pastor, all the pastors who had to serve this congregation before, we're all working together for this world. We are all working together to have our own journey with Christ. We are all here together to make this world a better place to live.